It's not something a lot of people like to think about, mm -hmm. but you do have to think about what will happen to your money and property after you die. That's where a will comes into play, but the big question, do you actually have one? News 8's Brian Spiros joins us live from New Haven this morning to explain why they're so important. Brian. Well, good morning, guys. Here's something people may find surprising. More than 50% of Americans do not have a will, and there could be a number of reasons. Either they think it's too expensive, they don't think they need one, or they really just don't want to acknowledge death or dying. But then again, who does? Now, this topic has been in news, in the news in recent weeks after the passing of Prince. It turns out he doesn't have a will, and if he does have one, nobody can seem to find it. So the big question is, who gets what from his estate, which is valued to be worth $300 million? As you can imagine, all of this expected to get very messy, but you do not have to have a large estate like Prince did in order to have a will. Keep that in mind. It will let your family know exactly what your wishes are who you want to get what after you pass. It explains all of this in detail. It also talks about your children. If you have kids who are under the age of 18, you can basically acknowledge who will raise them if for some reason you were to pass unexpectedly. And it's recommended that you go to a lawyer to make sure that the will is done the right way. A simple will is not overly expensive to do, and it's a wonderful uh, vehicle to have so you make sure that your assets go where you want them to go. A simple will with related documents, health care agent forms, living wills, powers of attorney, you're probably talking six fifty to a thousand dollars. For a more sophisticated estate planning, you could be in the thousand dollars range, depending upon who you go to and how much money you have. Now, if you don't have a will and clear expectations, that can obviously leave a lot to interpretation. Then probate court would have to get involved and handle everything and sort of divvy it all up. You know, this is a situation where we often hear people come out of the woodwork when there isn't a will and everyone stakes claim in something. So you definitely want to make sure that you do have a will. Lawyers say it is never too early to get one. We are reporting live this morning from New Haven. I'm Brian Spiros. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Brian, thanks.